Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get your Xbox onto your phone so you can play games on your phone, streaming it from your Xbox. So before we get into that, I want 2% of you guys watching this are subscribed, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you guys do not miss another video, and you guys can be first on my next video. So the first thing you guys gotta do is get on your phone or iPad, your iPhone or iPad, because this only works on Apple devices, and I'm gonna be doing it on my iPad since I'm recording with my phone. So what you guys want to do is look up this XB Stream Xbox Game Streaming, and it'll look like this. And it's a completely free app. It's not like you download and they have to pay something. It's just a hundred percent free. So I'm just gonna click open on that, and that will send you to this page. And this is what it's gonna look like. So once you're on this page, you just click on connect. And then it'll search for your Xbox One. And since I've already connected to mine, it'll just awaken the Xbox One. But if it's there for the first time, it'll show a list of IPs. Just refresh this page. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi as your Xbox. And then if you refresh it, you'll eventually find your Xbox and click on the Xbox. And it's really, really quick process. So yeah. So I'm just going to refresh this. And I'll be blurring out all these random IP addresses. And this is my Xbox. So I'm just going to click on that. And I should be connected in a second or two. So there you go. We got the Xbox, and this is what it looks like right now. As you guys can see, I got my monitor up here. It's the exact same thing. And these controls actually let you scroll through the apps, which is kind of cool. And then you can press, like, on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can press, like, A. And then, if you want, you can just press, like, you can go back to... You can just press any of these buttons pretty much. So yeah, if you guys want to control it like this, you guys can of course do that. Otherwise, you guys can just double tap and those will go away. And then you can just grab your controller that is already synced with the Xbox. So I got my controller right here. And you can just use your actual controller on this. So yeah, I'm just going to go to the home screen. Sorry. Go to the home screen like that. And see, you guys can actually control the Xbox like this. So yeah, so I'm just going to launch up Fortnite and show you guys how it looks on the iPad. So I have Fortnite launched up, and this is the monitor, and there it is on the Xbox, or the iPad. And you can see, it's the exact same thing. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And if you want, you can stick around and watch me load into this game just to show you guys that it works. And yeah. Oh, and one other thing is that you can actually put up the volume and it'll play the sound as long as you have it like unmuted on your iPad. There you go. So now I'll play the actual game sounds and I'll show you guys when we load into the game. It'll play all the Fortnite sounds. Okay, so I load it in, and just so that you guys know that's actually the sound from the Xbox and the iPad, I'm just gonna leave it like this, and then up here I'm just gonna turn off my monitor completely. And you guys can hear that. So yeah, works pretty well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.